The purpose of the color deconvolution tool is to separate the color image into channels or the respective colors of the features you're interested in. They're not the basic red, blue, or green um, channels. So for example, if we go in here, we can separate this image into a red, blue, and green images, um, which we can already do in our, in our channel operation tool. The color deconvolution tool is a little bit more complex uh, because it works outside of these basic color ranges. It's able to generate a channel operation that's a combination um, of these colors to give us the best grayscale representation of uh, the color of interest or the features of the, with the color of interest. Uh, the best way to show this is to just run a demonstration. So I'm going to go ahead and load in our color deconvolution tool. And the interface is separated into uh, three colors. In our case, uh, we're only really interested in two. So right now, the dropdown only has one selection for manual selection, which all it does is allows you, all it allows you to do is, is go in here and, and outline the first feature you're interested in, in segmenting, then the second feature you're interested in segmenting, in this case, we're just separating uh, these leaf spots from the leaf, from the healthy leaf. So I'm going to go ahead and circle this in several spots. Uh, when we're do taking the manual approach, it is critical to be accurate in your selection. We don't want to have any of this red selected in our, um, our green features, and we don't want any of the green selected in our red features. Uh, the third color would normally be used for a background, but we don't have that in this case. So we're able to just uh, select perform, which will execute uh, the dec deconvolution algorithm and it will generate this, these channel operations. What you can do is once we have this generated, we can click on the show button, which will, as you can see, highlight the features that fit uh, that color. Uh, profile where the brighter features are the ones we're interested in the darker features are, are further away in the color scale we can then uh, automatically add these to the recipe once we're done and what this does is it will generate the channel operations in the recipe for us and then from here we can do some uh, post-processing uh, so we can still apply things like, you know, our, our non-local means filters. And then do a, a very fundamental threshold and so on. So uh, the benefit of this over uh, our uh, color cluster tool is it's a little bit more specific to the color that you're interested in. It allows you to you know, manually select uh, these classes. A couple of notes about the images that, that you can use for color deconvolution. Uh, we recommend that uh, the images that are used for color deconvolutions are, are not compressed. Uh, so things like JPEGs do not work really well. Uh, a lot of times it's because uh, the compression uh, kind of distorts the color space and gives us inaccurate color deconvolutions. Uh, but that's pretty much it for this tutorial. Again, this was a video tutorial of, of color deconvolution in my part version 1.6.0.